Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We sure add is a man portable air defense system or manpad designed and developed indigenously by DRDO's research center Imarat RCI Hyderabad in collaboration with other DRDO laboratories and Indian industry partners. Recently we have made a detailed video on the technical specification and production timeline of the shoulder fired short range air defense system Vishorad. Now as per latest update DRDO has performed the maiden trials of the indigenous Vishorad for which we have been eagerly waiting. DRDO has conducted two successful flight trials of Vishorad missile from a ground based portable launcher from integrated test range Chandipur off coast of the Odisha. Both the flight tests have completely met the mission objectives. The Vishorad incorporates many novel technologies including miniaturized reaction control system and integrated avionics which have been successfully proven during the trials. The missile meant for neutralizing low altitude aerial threats at short ranges is propelled by a dual thrust solid motor. The interesting part of Vishorad system is its ejector motor. From the images released we can notice dual pulse rocket motor which is launch and sustain motor like the one used in Nag missile. You can also see the spike and wings in the missile which is meant for reducing the drag during the flight and it can also give the extended range to the missile. The design of the missile including the launcher has been highly optimized to ensure the easy portability. It's going to be a state of art system which will feature an autonomous man pad data link AMDL in its launcher. Now AMDL is a very critical feature which is going to take the manpad leaps ahead from the present generation. Hyderabad based Green Robotics with Bharat Electronics Limited is jointly developing AMDL system. It is first of its kind air defense solution that brings the isolated manpad or man portable air defense system operator into a networked environment. At present most of the man portable system are usually operated by one gunner and observer in a very unfriendly environment or hostile environment we can say with almost no linkage or connection to the local command. Now AMDL is first of its kind mesh networked, centrally integrated, AR VR enabled and AIML edge enabled last mile C4I system that is capable of connecting multiple man pad operators into a single mesh and link them to a single command to deliver highest hit rate and zero collateral damage. In simple term, a soldier can be equipped with this Vishorad and deployed in a remote location such as mountain or hilltop but will be connected to command center to get the updated threat and target coordinates and can launch attack. Vishorad will deliver highest situational awareness for shooter and maximum degree of control with the help of augmented intelligence and voice commands. DRDO's Vishorad will feature dual band infrared homing seeker and multispectral optical seeker. Now the dual band infrared seeker is no joke as it will ensure the destruction of incoming aircraft besides their heavy countermeasures deployed. The missile can carry up to 25 kg of warhead. It will have fire and forget capability and can engage aerial targets in day or night. It will have a horizontal range of 6 km and vertical range of 3 km. However, its detection range will be much larger. The development of DRDO's Vishorad has been fast tracked and expected to complete in the first quarter of 2023. Recently, DRDO has also procured 20 uncooled imaging infrared seeker for these Vishorads. The infrared camera used in IIR seeker are of two types, cooled and uncooled one. The cooled cameras are more bulky, expensive and more prone to failures when compared to the uncooled infrared cameras which DRDO has procured. Considering the pace at which the Vishorad development is happening, we can expect the missile system to be ready in another one or maximum two years. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.